Hi YouTubers and what's yours everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video and it's another unboxing video. Something from Amazon and also a bit of a twist here. It came stapled with a letter and if you can see the letter it's from the United States Postal Service and it says in 1934 Congress enacted a law blah 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 blah. So it came stapled to my package like that, and more on that after we do the unboxing and show you what's inside. Okay, so let's get to it. We're going to take that off, and we're going to go ahead and just open this up. Okay, here we are. Viking's Blade, the Admiral, razor and brush stand. Wow, just got it. Viking's Blade has a brand new razor and brush stand. And we're going to take a look at it right here. Heavy duty, heavy duty Swedish stainless steel. So let's take a look at it. You and me together for the first time. Wow, look at this again. The packaging is just top notch. To give you a little, little peek of what is in there. And this comes off like this. I'm going to pull it out. It's kind of a tight fit. I'm going to, I'm going to bow this up a little bit. Let me get this off here. I'm gonna, so this is the stand, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is stainless steel, it is heavyweight. This has got a lot of nice heft to it. The openings of the stand are wide enough to accommodate a variety and brush of brushes and razors is my guess. It has these beautiful gold accents here and on the bottom, beautiful. And there's engraving on the bottom here also. Uh, there's a little bore right here and then there's a little Viking ship on the other side. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. Nice and heavyweight. And as I say, the openings look like they'll be able to accommodate a variety of brushes and razors. So let's take a look right now. Here's my Vikings Blade uh, Dark Stallion brush. And there it is. Absolutely no problem. Very nice. Here's my Vikings Blade White Knight Synthetic Badger brush. Again. No problem. Really nice. Now here's one that I've never been able to put on my Perfecto stand because the this opening wasn't wide enough. This is the Art of Shaving Badger Brush and the base is just a little different, just a little wider than most uh, brushes. So uh, just give it a little twist like that goes on. No problem at all. That's nice because with the Perfecto stand or maybe other stands if you have them, I'm not sure but I know with the Perfecto stand this brush had to sit up there like that, and I didn't care for that too much. Um, here is the Samogue 1800 bore brush, wooden handle, absolutely no problem. Really, really nice. Okay, so let's look and see what the variety of razors are that can fit here. First of all, let's get my Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. Very nice. That sits there very nicely. Wow, sits there nice and secure. Just really, and that looks great. Look at that, Let me just, just real quickly, I'm going to put my Vikings blade brush. Look at that. That's just going to look, that's going to look just awesome. Oh yeah, that looks so nice. So the Vikings blade chieftain works. Here is my Godfather razor. And look, tall enough to accommodate a long handled razor like that. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. Now, here's the big test. This is the Merker Future. Now with the Perfecto stand, I've had to hang it upside down like this and catch this little ridge right here because this opening on the Perfecto stand was not wide enough to accommodate the Merker Future. But look, no problem at all. It's on there very nicely and securely. Very, very nicely. Look at that. That's terrific. That's terrific. Here is the uh, Merker Progress. Very nice. Here is uh, a vintage Gillette uh, adjustable. If you've got one of those, no problem at all. And lastly, I have here a, a gem single edge razor. Now these have that the angle to the head here, and so that when it sits on there, that's going to get kicked over this way, as you can see. But there it is. Sits on there very nicely. Not a problem at all. Sits on there very securely. And you can kick it that way a little bit. And it's fine. You can even, if you want, 
let it sit on the stand that way, or as I say, just like that. Very nicely, even though it touches on the bottom there a little bit, not a problem with the Perfecto stand. There it is, look, see? Not even touching now. With the Perfecto stand, there wasn't enough clearance to do that. So if you have a single edge, a gem single edge safety razor, this is a Micromatic, um, the open comb or the, um, the uh, clog proof like this one is, you shouldn't have any problem at all. So that's it. That's really, really very, very nice. The Vikings Blade, the Admiral razor and brush stand, heavyweight, beautiful stainless steel. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And again, the packaging is so nice. Now you get something like this and it's wrapped up, gift wrapped. They open it up. They're going to look at it. and They're going to go, wow, the Admiral razor and brush stand. And, and when they open it up, they're going to look at it. Okay. Now, I want to tell you about the actual package. Now, the package, I have Prime. Prime gives me two-day shipping. Uh, I got a text message two days after I placed the order, and Amazon said, it's been delivered. When I got home, it wasn't there. I called up Amazon. They said, we delivered it. I said, well, maybe it was delivered to the wrong house. So I waited a day, and the next day, it still wasn't there. Uh, I looked all around again, and then I called up Amazon, and they said, well, okay, you know, let's wait a little bit. We'll give you a refund, whatever. So I went through my mail, and I found an envelope in there that said that I had postage due of $4.29. Um, so I didn't know what that meant. So, I'll, hey, you know what? Someone's sending me a package. I put the $4.29 in, put it in my mailbox. The next day, I called the post office, and they told me, this is what had happened. Amazon did deliver my package. An Amazon delivery person, a person that works for Amazon, or maybe another courier service, I don't know, but Amazon delivered it, and they placed it in my mailbox. A little while later, my mail carrier came by, opened up, to, opened up my mailbox to deliver my mail, and saw there was a package in there that the U.S. Post Office did not deliver. Took it out by law, put an envelope in there for postage due, and then, um, as they explained to me, nobody is allowed to go into that mailbox except the resident and the United States Postal Service. And this is what that letter explains. It says, in 1934, Congress enacted a law known as the mailbox restriction that prohibits anyone from placing mailable matter without postage into any mailbox. This law, 18 U.S.C. 1725, gives the Postal Service a virtual monopoly over mailboxes and currently reads as follows. And then they go ahead and quote the law. This is from the United States Postal Service, and this is the actual letter. And you know what? They're right. This is the law. The law has been in effect since 1934. So when that courier or Amazon, whoever, placed that package in my mailbox, they were in violation of the law, which is why my mail carrier removed it postage due. I phoned up Amazon, I informed them, and they credited me the postage, which was very nice. And a day later, after putting the envelope in, the package arrived. So, a happy ending. But just be aware that that situation exists. So if you order something from Amazon, and they send you a text or an email saying your, your package is there, and you get home and it's not there, quickly as you can, call up your postal service, your post office, your local post office, because you may have run into the same situation. Okay, so it was just a uh, misunderstanding. Well, no, it's not a misunderstanding. It's the law! So, <laughs> that's it. Okay, hey, thanks very much. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know, comment below. Uh, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out the Admiral Razor Stand by Vikings Blade. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And that's it, and I'll see you again real soon.